Yeah, hello everyone. And in this session, we are going to discuss the data extraction from ECC to BW. So BW 7.5 to be precise. So what exactly we are doing in this project is we are going to get the data from uh, ECC server uh, from a specific table into our BW system and we're going to load the data. So for this, uh, the process that we are right now doing is in the source system, we have to create a data source in RS02 transaction and we have to test the data source in RS A3. We can also do the testing in RS02 as well. And uh, uh, by, by clicking on the test extraction, which we are going to discuss now, we're going to see that on the screen. So BW system, we are going to replicate the data source which we have done. So we are not going to create any data source in BW. We are going to replicate it from the source system and then we are going to activate the dose activate the data source and then we are to creating we are, we are creating the info package and loading the data into psc so before the, doing this we we would like to do the modeling first and we'll create a cube with couple of fields from kna1 table so basically we are we want to get the data replicated from the from a specific database table called kna1 so we'll we'll first uh, create a uh, we'll first create a data source in uh, uh, we'll first create a cube in the in, in bw 7.5 and then we'll go ahead and uh, uh, replicate the data so when we are creating the when we are creating the cube in the in, in in the in the bw system we need to make sure that all the properties are in sync with the source system so what do i mean by mean by that is like we need to check out the uh, properties of that particular fields which we are going to take so i i, I'll, I i'm showing you the table in se 11 transaction in the source system now this is a source system from which from which we'll be getting the data so i'll go for kna1 table and uh, display so this is a table okay so uh, i actually logged into bw so we need to do it in uh, uh, source system ecc so this is a source system so i'll open that sc11 so in sc11 i'll open the kna1 table in the source system in the ecc system and we will see what are the fields that we want to take uh, for our for our uh, comfort we since we are focusing more on the concept we are will just take two characters and two key figures uh, which can be imbibed into our uh, cube and then we can start doing the loading extraction and loading okay so now these are the fields that we have so let us assume let us uh, take couple of uh, uh, fields here let's take uh, the customer number kvnr land one and name one so these are the three characteristics that first three characters is what we are going to take and we are going, we, we also need to take some key, key figures right so let's take them some uh, check uh, an international uh, digital location number so that is uh, bupkz that's a numeric value we'll put it in the key figures and uh, we can also take uh, something like phone number as well phone number of the uh, of the client of the customer so we have currency for currency we also have to take care of the you know uh, currency we have to also take care of the unit as well so okay even one key figure also will work so let's go ahead with that and uh, we'll start doing it year year for which sales was given this is also one particular but i don't think we have data for that so let's let's take this one uh, let's take uh, the numeric value here that's uh, international location number international location number we have bbn triple bnr so uh, triple bnr is what we'll take so let's start doing the cube now let's design the cube with these profiles so what are the fields that we have proposed is kvnr land one name one are the characteristics and, the, and just one key figure that is uh, uh, triple bnr so uh, and the properties for this is cell uh, numeric and seven length is seven and here we have uh, characters and uh, length is 335 something like that so let's build that now let's get into the let's get into this okay now here we have something like uh, info provider info okay so uh, we'll first have to build the info provider so for the uh, info info objects so for the info objects we'll go to the uh, rsd1 transaction okay let me do it let, let me do this from the beginning so i will go to the rsd1 transaction and uh, We'll build that uh, character six and key figures so for this i uh, will go ahead with nohdb once we go for nohdb we'll have this uh, so okay so here we'll go for kunr so 
you know if at all if it is already existing then we'll go with some other name so, okay i mean like as of now we are preferring to go with the same same uh, names as we have it in the source so the length of that is the length of uh, the length of this particular field okay the length of this particular field is 10 and land one 3 and name one uh, 35 so we'll do the same thing now here we'll go for character length is 10 and activate okay so i think it's so let me create a package as well in this so we have to create a package so we can also save it in dollar tmp but uh, when we are doing uh, the project it's always preferred to create a uh, package so i'm creating a package here and create new request new request okay so it's been done now what we'll do is let's say jsoftech is the package name uh, we have done it in a c80 transaction which we had uh, earlier discussed in another session so okay let's rsd1 knr okay and HTTP. okay click on create customer number and then character length is 10 activate z software is our package just now we created it New same request i'm saving it so about the request number and all how to do that and all this stuff i'm going to discuss in the transport organizer later so okay so we have done this uh, you know knr and then we'll go for uh, lan1 lan1 is the another field that we have and we'll create it this is country lan1 stands for country so just say okay now here we have a characteristic and the length is three here save Uh, next is like uh, we have it for 35 uh, 35 is for what uh, thirty five is for another field okay let me activate this first land one land one is activated and then we'll go for name one and name one is the name of the customer so name of the customer is like character in this 35 activate yes okay so once we activate this uh, there's one more uh, field that we need to you know one more info object uh, that is a key figure so we need to select this key figure and then we need to go for that particular uh, key figure which we have in the source so the the key figure that we have in the source is uh, b triple bnr and this is a numeric value so let's take this as a numeric value there we'll consider it as a numeric there so i'll go for this field bnr create and the description also you can copy from there description less international number It's a number. I'll take it as a number. Yeah, okay. We'll put it as a floating point. Okay. So activate. Okay. 
okay so we successfully created all the you know uh, info objects from the uh, based on the based on our source file the source file for us is a table uh, ecc table so keeping uh, and taking that into consideration we have created this particular uh, um, info objects now let's build the let's let's build the cube now So in, uh, to build the cube, uh, let's go to the info provider and uh, we need to create an info area. It's not always mandatory that we need to give the info area every time. So, but I'm doing it now. So I'll go for IA underscore JH Softic info area for JH Softic and say OK. And uh, we have this and let's create a cube here. create info cube and this I see underscore chat subject cube change data customers data actually okay so now uh, we'll we'll inculcate those uh, fields here we'll inculcate those particular uh, characteristics that we have created so insert uh, and then i'm writing this k unnr land one name one these are the fields that we created here so all these values will come at a time so if you know the technical names of it you can type all this one at a time instead of searching for it and here I'll go with that particular field. Okay, I'm not sure about the field name. One second. Triple BNR. Now it's been added as a key figure so we, we we are now successfully able to create okay so there's another one so own request we'll create it for chains of tech let's say okay so once it's been done once we have we have successfully created this particular uh, you know uh, character characteristics and key key figures once we have done this then what we can do is we can go ahead and load the data. So I'm I'm going to take this uh, forward in the next next video uh, next session. So uh, till here we have uh, normally discussed about uh, creation of the modeling part of this particular project where we are designing the cube based on the properties of the properties which are uh, in the what do you call uh, uh, in the in the source system. The source system is what we have there. So that is what we have done. So so from here i'll take it forward in the uh, in the next next uh, session so till here it's it's done and uh,